Hey gang, welcome back to Mark 60 Plus Fitness Journey. Okay, we're gonna have us a little fun today. We're gonna do a body composition analysis. Now last year this time, almost a year ago, I did a video doing this exact same thing when I was 63 and I did it, did it at the gym using one of the impedance-based um, analysis machines, the kind you step on barefooted and hold the probes with your hands out like this and it measures body fat, lean muscle mass, so forth and so on. So I did that one last year and I wanted to do another to compare where I am now. I meant to do this six months ago but I guess a 12 month comparison is cool too. So I'm going to compare 2023's at age 63 to 2024's at age 64 to see exactly what happened last year. Let's go look at it. Alrighty, so let's do us a year-to-year -year comparison of these body composition analyses. Now, on the left here, you'll see 2023s. This was done on September 12th of 2023, so it's not quite a year. And on the right here, you see the one I just did on August 28th. Now I'm gonna talk about these numbers. I'm gonna highlight some of the important numbers. Um, then I'm gonna dive in, take these numbers and show you a little chart and dive into it a little deeper here in a second. So bear with me for a minute while we look at this. Now last year, I weighed in 179 and a half pounds. I have to take my glasses off so I can see this. And this year I weighed in at 185.9. That was a little weird because I didn't, I weighed in at like 182 this morning. So that'll be a detail I want to talk about in a second. Uh, now, interestingly enough, also last year my total body water was 112.7. So that's intracellular, extracellular water. And this year it was 116.6 so that's that's a lot more water weight right off the bat so i think that accounts for the at least in portion the extra weight this year when i weighed in now keep all that stuff in mind there um now let's see dry lean mass 41.2 dry lean mass this year 42.3 that went up that's good body fat mass 25.6 last year 26.9 this year a little higher now, let's move on down here to the skeletal muscle mass. Hope you can read that, the SMM. Last year, the skeletal muscle mass was 88.2 pounds. Now this year, the skeletal muscle mass went up to 90.4. Good, excellent. And again, the body mass, uh, body fat mass went up. Um, Let's scroll down here and look at the obesity an analysis. Now the BMI, you know, that's irrelevant. That doesn't matter here at all. But what does uh, matter to me is the, to a degree anyway, the body fat percentage here. Last year 14.3, this year 14.5. So effectively the same thing. That's good, I don't mind. That's 14% body fat, I'm happy with that. And then it goes on to talk about, in a little more detail, it's a segmental lean analysis. It, it basically segments the right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, so forth and so on, into each individual uh, muscle mass, weight, and so forth. But I want to point out one thing here that's, that is interesting. I've always said my left leg is a little smaller than my right, and this confirms it. And uh, like, for example, last year, my right leg, uh, muscle mass was 22.38 and my left leg was 21.98 now that's not a significant I mean a giant difference but you know it's enough to tell and of course the same held true for this year right leg 23.13 was actually went up that's good left leg 22.29 so that also went up so I've gained some muscle mass in my legs excellent and the other thing I want to point out here is the visceral fat level. That's the fat inside your body, around, in and around your organs. You want to keep that to a minimum. And here, they want to keep it below 10. So last year, mine was a 4, and this year was a 5. So it went up a hair, but it's still well within the, the okay range there. And let's see if there's anything else here. Note that we really need to look at. Not really. Well, maybe. Uh, 
this extracellular water to body weight water ratio here 3.70 um, apparently that's that's pretty good that's what they told me at three that's somewhere in the area you're looking for so basically that's the bot extracellular water divided by your body weight and this year it was 0.376 so anyway 14 percent body fat same from last year to this year gained some muscle mass now let's look at the numbers and talk about this in a little bit more detail all right let's do a little analysis here between last year and this year as far as body composition analysis goes now we'll start with the body weight and you see the body weight went up from 179 and a half last year to 185.9 that's a change of plus 6.4 pounds i'm going to talk about that a little bit more in a second and the total body water weight was 112.7 last year and 116.6 this year that's a an increase of 3.9 pounds of water weight I was carrying today as compared to last year. Again, hold that hold that thought in your mind, in your mind for a second. Uh, body fat, 25.6 last year, 26.9 this year. That's an increase of 1.3 pounds. Yeah, that sounds about right, I suppose. Skeletal muscle mass, 88.2 pounds last year, 90.4 pounds this year. That's good. That's an increase of 2.2 pounds. And lean body mass, 153.9 last year, and an increase to 159.0 pounds this year, an increase of 5.1 pounds. And that lean body mass, I assume that can include anything but water. So you know, it could have been extra skin. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but 5.1 pounds of um, extra lean body mass so I guess that's good now what I want to go back to is look at this body weight change from last year so this morning I weighed in at 185.9 on that on that in body analysis machine which is heavier than I thought I thought okay well when I weighed in this morning it was about 182.0 now oddly enough if you look at the the total body water weight Delta of positive 3.9 pounds, if you subtract that from 185.9, that'll give you 182 pounds. So my contention is, I was carrying a little extra a little extra water. I did drink a lot of water before I went to the gym and as I was walking to the gym, that could account for it. So that seems more reasonable. And if we look at that 182 pounds after deducting the 3.9 pounds of body of water, that leaves me with about a, a two and a half pound body weight increase from last year. And oddly enough, that almost perfectly aligns with the increase of the skeletal muscle mass of a positive 2.2 pounds. So like I said, this, these, these things aren't infallible. There, there, there's a plus or minus some percentage here of accuracy, but I think it's pretty good. I feel like I did gain a little bit of muscle. I think at 64 and a half years old, I think a, a gain of 2.2 pounds of muscle is good. And as I've said on this channel many, many times, my goal is to maintain muscle mass and increase it if I can. And that's what I'm, what I'm doing here. You know as well as I do, it's, it's hard. It's hard to keep muscle mass as you age, and it's even harder to add it, so I'm happy with that 2.2 pounds of extra skeletal muscle. Yay, that's good. And again, uh, you couple that with trying to keep my strength, increase my strength with my, my programming that I'm using. I'm using a, it's kind of a hybrid strength slash bodybuilding slash increased muscle mass slash uh, aerobic, cardio activity, all that stuff rolled into one. It's, it's kind of working for me. I feel good about it. So anyway, there you have it. That's the in body, <laughs> um, body composition analysis for this year, 2024. I probably should do these every six months and I meant to, I just kind of, it just kind of got away from me. When I went in and did this this morning, I told the, the person doing this for me, I said, I think it was about six months ago. It was almost exactly a year ago when I did this. 
It's crazy. Anyway, I'm happy with that. If you've ever done something like that, why don't you give us a yell and let us know how it worked for you, what you think about these. I am thinking about going to the local university here, Old Dominion University, and doing um, another type of body analysis. This is um, not, I'm not exactly, I can't remember what it's called, but it involves a, a water flotation type thing. I don't, I don't know if it's called water DEXA. I don't know, but it's not an actual DEXA scan as I understand it, which is actually a scan. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna do that. Um, I meant to do that before now. Again, that just got away from me. I'd like to compare that type of flotation body composition analysis to this, this impedance-based kind of machine. All right, there you go. Just wanted to share that with you. There you have it. And I do appreciate you being with me today, taking the time out of your busy day to come hang out with me. And as always, if you do me the additional favor of hitting that like button, sharing this with your friends, and leave a comment. I'm going to harp on the comments. I like to see a lot of comments. I try to answer every comment. Um, so leave a comment, hit the like button, and if you haven't already, please consider clicking that subscribe button. We would love to have you here. This is a cool group, and you're certainly welcome. Come join us. So I guess with that, I'll say, till next time, go get them. Mark out.